Hey everybody, welcome back to our evening devotions. Pastor Matthew here, glad to be with you once again. I've been thinking a lot lately about legacy, about what we leave behind. Honestly, I've been thinking about it because I've been mourning the loss of my grandfather and remembering the many ways that he has left a legacy in my life and the life of my family. I know I shared with many of you a story about growing up when he was the custodian of our church and being paid 50 cents a toilet to clean the toilets in that church. But I've been noticing other ways that legacies have been left in our family. And one of them is with this little book here. It's A is for Annabelle. And it's currently my youngest daughter, Dorothy's favorite book. But more importantly than the text of the book, I think for her, is this little note that was left by my sister, whose book was, whose book this was originally. And it says, from Aaron Fleming to Dorothy Fleming, may this book bring you as much joy as it did I. And I just love that because every time we read this book, I make sure that we stop and we pause and we look at the note that was left by Dorothy's aunt, Erin. We can leave legacies for people. They can be people who are much younger than us. They could be people who are older than us. They could be our peers or our coworkers, but we can make an impact in the lives of others. Pastor Peter gave a great sermon this Wednesday night about how our actions matter by what we, what we do. And I think if we imagine leaving a legacy by the actions that we have, we can give thanks for the many ways that God has given us freedom to act on behalf of others, for the best of others, for the love of others, for the goodness of God's creation and for God's world. So my question for you this week is, who has left a legacy for you? Who are the people who have influenced who you are and how you are in the world? And how might you leave a legacy for others? How might you leave a legacy of your actions, of your words, said and unsaid, by the person that you are created to be and the way that God is moving in your life? I know I can count on uh, all of my fingers and toes the many ways and beyond that people of St. Andrew have left a legacy for me. And I hope that you can also count as many blessings the ways that people have left a legacy for you. So this week, how might you be a legacy for others and who have been the people who have left a legacy for you? Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.